Hi guys, it's Michaela and welcome back to my channel and welcome to another BoxyCharm unboxing. Um, my dog is in the background. We did get a dog over the holiday season. So if that's what you, that's kind of what you hear going on. She's just walking around trying to get out of the storm. Um, and I've got a little bit of a different background today. Let me know what you think of it. Honestly, I'm just trying to work with where we're at in the day. But anyway, uh, I do have a BoxyCharm unboxing. Uh, if you are new to BoxyCharm, it is a makeup, hair care, and skin care. Basically, it's a beauty box. Um, it's a subscription box that I think after tax and shipping, it retails to 32, around $32 per month. I will leave both my referral link and my code down below. All it gets me some charm points, so hopefully try to get some free stuff. And My hair is like acting up right now. But uh, this month's um, theme is so fresh and so clean. I haven't actually tried out any of the items yet, uh, just because I just haven't had a chance to and um, I do want to get this video up. So let's just go ahead and start with, I'm just kind of reading from top to bottom on the back here of this card, but let's start with my choice for the month, which is the Wonder Beauty Sweet Escape Palette. Send yourself on a sweet escape with this perfectly curated collection of matte and shimmery, neutral and bold shades that take you effortlessly from day to day wherever you wander. And it retails for $42. All I did was I swatched these shades and they seem very promising. I really like the last Wonder Beauty palette I got in my box. I believe it was the Wondrous Escape palette. When I swatched these, just kind of playing around before I got this video going, uh, this shade right here, uh, it's on a holiday, it felt a little bit gritty to me, but uh, I'd have to try it on the eyes. I'm, I'm very confident in this palette's ability to do good because I really did like the last one, which is why I did choose this. I think it was between this and an, like an Anastasia eyebrow product, but I really liked it, liked my last um, Wonder Beauty palette, so I did want to get another one while I had the opportunity to. And then the next one, we have the Earth Harbor Naturals, the Nebula Adaptogen, Clarity and Fuel. I am. This is the answer to finding peaceful energy and the light within your skin. Both a potent clarifying treatment and a gentle glow enhancing elixir. This ampule is a feather light flash absorbing formula specifically designed to help distress skin prone to acne, blemishes, and excess oil. And it retails for $46. So this could be the product that was in here just to get the value of the box up. But I have like the Earth and Harbor. Um, items they have put in my box in the past. I have come to enjoy getting these products because I just don't like spending my own money on skincare. But still, I I don't feel like it's my favorite. I don't think, feel like it was necessary. Again, the retail value, it's not ridiculous, but it's still on the higher end, which again, I felt like was here to get the value of the box up. Um, this is just personal opinion here, but at least the bottle's pretty. I, like, I really like how they do their packaging. They're pretty in. I am looking forward to using this oil. And then we've got the Persona Cosmetics E-Balms Tinted Lip Balm. I am excited to use this. A sheer, lightweight, tinted lip balm packed with nourishing ingredients designed for a feel-good comfort anytime, anywhere, and it retails for $22. I am really looking forward to trying this. I haven't tried this out yet. I'm trying to get it open, but it's just this nice little red lipstick. It's very, it feels, Upon swatching it, it feels very comfortable. I can't wait to see what it actually looks like on the lips. And it's great for Valentine's Day coming up. I can see myself wearing this for just that time of year. And it doesn't, it feels like it's very moisturizing and it doesn't feel like it's gonna be overly pigmented. Again, we will try that on the lips when I'm able to. Um, but I, I'm glad that they put this in here. I like, I like getting things from, um, more mainstream brands like Persona Cosmetics. The, I tried a couple of eyeshadow palettes from them, or no, I've actually, I've only tried one eyeshadow palette from them. I was gonna say, I think I have another thing from them, but no, I'm wanting to try more from them, so I'm looking forward to using this. And then we've got this Lovecraft Beauty Plasma Gloss. This all-over iridescent bronze gold gloss is a multifunctional, buildable gloss that adds a dewy, bronzy, iridescent glow to the eyes, cheeks, and lips, and it retails for $18. I actually have never tried an eye gloss. I'm a little bit kind of skeptical of using it on the cheeks and the lips, but I mean, I'll try it, but it's very, it's a bronzy shade. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it just next to this lip gloss here. It looks 
very pretty. I feel like I get a lot of bronze tones in um, my boxes when it comes to various shades. It's kind of like a little something different. Maybe I just need to go back and retake the quizzes. But I am curious as to how this performs on the eyes, the lips, and the cheeks. My guess is this is probably going to majority be in my uh, single eyeshadows. But if I like it for other ways, of course, I'll use it. I like to use different... I like to see how many different ways I can use a product. But there's that. I think it's pretty and I'm looking forward to using this. And then the last item I actually did try this morning. Um, but it is the Fara or F-A-R-A -A liquid eyeliner. A matte black highly pigmented liquid eyeliner that will blow you away with an 18 hour wear. This liquid liner has an easy to use felt tip to create a perfect cat eye. Stays on until you take it off. Easily removes with an oil based eye makeup remover. Vegan, cruelty free, long wearing and waterproof and it retails for $20. So I, I tried it today and I felt like it would, did very good except for when I got the inner into the inner corner of my eye. And a lot of my good eyeliners don't do that. I don't think it's the worst formula I've tried but it goes on. It's a very liquidy going on but I like how easy the application is. Um, but again, I, it felt like it ran a little bit and I just, I couldn't seem to keep it off of my eyeshadow this morning. I, upon the outer rims of my eyes, I felt like it did better, but if I, for an eyeliner, I want it to be able to go all the way across the line and into the inner corners, um, because my eyes typically are not very watery. They do run sensitive, but they're not watery hardly ever. So I, I, I'm going to have to play around with this more to see whether or not I like it, but I'm glad to have it. I mean, I don't mind getting liquid eyeliners from time to time because it's just not a collection. I, it's not a product I have a whole lot in my collection because I very rarely wear eyeliner. Although granted, I am getting into wearing them more and more. I like just, instead of winging them out, I like just keeping them on my lash line to kind of, I feel like it gives my eyes a bigger effect when I have them very close to the lash line. Um, but that is everything in this box. I will have the total retail value of the box either on the screen or in the description box down below. Overall, I'm okay with this box. I'm not mad at it. I, I'm not thrilled with it, it but I, I'm excited. Like I'm excited to use this and I'm really excited to use this and I am excited to use this here. So, um, but everything else like this, it, it'll be an oil. I mean, not my favorite product to get in a box of charm, but also, I don't mind it because it's just I just don't get excited with skincare. And then this is always nice to have. So overall, again, um, should I start doing a rating box? How many stars for how many products? I mean, let me know if you guys like that, but I guess if I were to rate this box, I would probably give it three out of five stars. Um, but based on not trying the products, so I'm not saying I dislike these, I'm just saying they're not my most excited. So if you'd like me to start doing a ranking, let me know down below. And again, sorry for the noise, it's storming out and my dog's in the background. But um, thank you for watching this video. If you are new here, hi, my name is Michaela and I do videos focusing on beauty and lifestyle. And my goal on this platform is to share my love for beauty as well as my love for Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. And if that's what you're here to, into, hit that subscribe button. And if not, but you still want to stick around, I'd love to have you. Anyway, um, I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.